There is currently a huge glitch in College Football 25 that allows the defense to always know when you're running or passing on offense. It basically always allows the defense to correctly choose whether to run commit or pass commit, therefore really smothering your offense and leaving you feeling helpless. So, in today's College Football 25 video, I'm going to break down how to do this glitch, how it works, what people are doing to take advantage of this, and most importantly, how to counter it so when someone does it to you, you can burn them from easy big plays and easy touchdowns. Now, you've probably played people lately and they've been doing it to you and you felt helpless. Well, after this video, I got y'all. Let's get it. So, my name is Duke. I run SportsGamers.com and for years, I've helped thousands and thousands of college football and Madden gamers get better, win more games. Today, I'm dropping some knowledge on y'all. So, if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a like, comment on the video. I do daily videos for College Football 25 tips and gameplays, and I will do daily videos on here for Madden 25 as well when it drops. So first of all, how does this glitch work? Well, essentially this glitch is used from man coverage, specifically defenses that are cover zero based. So, you know, right here, I'm in a basic mid blitz zero, right? This is cover zero. And basically the way this glitch works is that if the defense is in cover zero, meaning Everyone is manned up or blitzing. There's no zones on the field. If they go ahead and run commit, the defense will run commit if you run the ball, but if you pass the ball, it will pass commit. So they can essentially shut down all your runs while still playing the pass if you pass. It's kind of crazy, but let me show you guys how it works. So I just came out of mid blitz zero. This is cover zero defense, and that means, again, everyone's either blitzing or manned up. There's nobody in zone. So if I run commit here by pressing R1 or RB or down, RB or R1, excuse me, depending upon your system, and down on the right analog stick, now I've run commit. So I want you guys to watch what happens here. I'm going to run the ball and watch all my defenders. You guys can see they immediately explode against the run, lucky to get a, be able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now this is super annoying though, because at the same time, like if I, if I was in the same defense and uh, I passed the ball, they're going to pass commit. So here I'm going to set the same defense up. I'm literally just going to, you know, come to the line, run this little six-man blitz and run commit, right? Well, you know, you would think that if I am run committing and you pass the ball, you're just going to have people wide open, right? Not the case. Watch this. So I, I ran commit. You guys can see nobody plays the run. Everyone's in coverage. Now I was just sitting in the middle of the field, field on that safety, not guarding anybody. In a game, obviously, I'd be playing, you know, in coverage. But look. There's nobody, you know, there's nobody run committing. Everyone's playing against the pass. Now, I didn't even set up a blitz setup from this play, but imagine if I was doing this from a cover zero blitz, like an actual good blitz setup, and I was getting perfect coverage while setting a blitz, while still being able to stop all your runs. That would be annoying, right? That's just so you can see how this works exactly. Let me try to do this from cover three zone. So I'm just going to come out and think, hey, you know, I can run commit glitch. Let me run commit glitch from, from zone. It doesn't work that way. If you run commit and someone's in zone coverage, as you guys can see here, they, they fall for the run. They play the run because they're in zone. However, if they're in man, they will never do that. So just for another example, let me actually play cover one. So I want you guys to watch the safety here. He's in a deep zone. You know, the other guys are manned up. But the safety in the deep zone, if I try to run commit thinking, oh, I'm in man to man, let me run commit. Well, the safety in the deep zone, he's going to get, he's going to run. See, he runs up. He runs up and he doesn't, you know, do, you know, he gives up his deep zone. And then that allows for guys to get more open. So in order for this to work, you have literally have to be in cover zero. So nobody's in zone. So nobody falls for the, for the basically the run. They play the run against the run. They play the pass against the pass. Crazy, right? Super annoying. We try to run the ball. We're dead. We try to pass the ball. Everyone's in coverage. So most important part of this video, how do you counter it? So there's a few different ways I found to counter it that I really, really like. So first thing you can do is I would say like design quarterback runs. The best one in the game by far is gun trips tied in QB zone out of Alabama playbook. This run right here, they come out in their cover zero, try to run commit glitch, is probably going to score a touchdown if not to get a huge play against this run. If you want to get better at college football 25 and win more games, check out my college football VIP membership on sportsgamers.com. Put the link to order in the comments and the description. You will get access to all the content I release for college football all year long, including 
the best offense in the game, the best defense in the game, my secret A-gap blitzes, my rollout glitch, my run defense, and my pass defense, and much more. Let's dominate together, boys. Because already, this run is designed to kill heavy blitzing cover zero type defenses anyways. So you take this to the next level and run commit, which is basically amplifying the effects of a blitz, right? Because everyone's crashing down to try to stop the run. It just makes it even worse. As you guys can see, I went untouched for a touchdown because like the whole defense is run committing, getting way too aggressive. I didn't even have to do anything. I just ran for a free touchdown. So that's super easy. Obviously, you need a mobile quarterback for this. Now, I know what you're saying. Duke, I don't use Alabama playbook. What is something I can do in pretty much any playbook? Oh, I got y'all. So if you don't have this in your playbook, what you want to do is you just want to look for a speed option, right? A speed option play out of shotgun. Some are better than others, I will admit. But generally speaking, speed options work really well. One of the ones I like a lot is the Gun Trio HP Week speed option. Okay, this is, again, just look in your playbook for a speed option. Now, you could run this as designed, and this is why I say trips ones are better. I would say any speed option with a trips receiver set of some sort is going to be your best bet because the trips is going to get all the man defenders on one side of the field, right? So here I have literally everybody defensively on the left, right? Nobody's on the right. So I'm going to do the run commit glitch. And what I'm actually going to do here is instead of running the play designed to the left, which again, it would be reasonably effective because I could kind of just turn it into a quarterback run anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back to the right away from all the trips and watch what happens. So I take a step left, but then I go back right and look, oops, nobody's there because my the entire defense is on the left side of the screen guarding my trips. So because everybody's on the left guarding the trips and they rank them down, first of all, yes, everyone's on the left, but then watch, watch the safety on the right. He's crashing down. So all I do is take one step to the left and cut back right and literally again, untouched touchdown. So for these idiots glitching you, this solves the problem. Now, you know, Obviously, guys, look, I had that same hole I had on the trips, QB zone. If I just take it kind of like between those two linemen, 74 and 72, that's going to give me a good gain, especially if a spin move. Yes, but this is better cut back against the grain for a touchdown. Also, look, if I just kept going left because everyone's crashing down, you could pitch it to the running back. Again, probably don't want to do that, though, because I know I can cut it back and get a free touchdown. But, like, if you weren't in a trip speed option – just running it the way it's supposed to, either cutting it up with the quarterback to make it a design run or pitching it to the running back, it is good. So past that, just a few other ideas for y'all that work really well. The Wildcat, um, you know, that works really good. We kind of have a Wildcat in Alabama's playbook. Honestly, it's just not called Wildcat. But any sort of Wildcat's going to work good because you can just use the zone runs, kind of use the same concept that, that I showed you on these plays. Just get to the outside. Um, you know, like... Those types of runs work good. Basically, guys, you just want to avoid any, like, honestly, running back runs. They all suck against this. So, I mean, just, like, inside zones, powers, dives, duos, all that crap, not very good. Even stretches, honestly, get shut down by it most of the time. However, there are certain glitchy toss plays, if you have them, that will work. Like the tosses where everyone is literally on one side of the field, those glitchy formations. Those work pretty good, too. But the top two things I just showed y'all, this QB zone and speed option, is your best bet. And then I'd say the Wildcat. Man, make sure you smash that like button. I've been hitting y'all with that heat. Trying to support the channel. You know, easy way to do that is hit the like button. Till next time, it's your boy Duke, and I'm out of here.